the Nigerian Navy has received a court summon in case instituted by the NT Iroi Idu, the mega tanker arrested for violation in Nigerian waters, including attempting to steal crude oil. Members of the NT Iroi Idu that was escorted back to the country for gross violation in the Nigerian maritime domain. The smear campaign put up by the ship in the media space in a fierce attempt to rubbish the transfer process by falsely gaining international support and sympathy was thus bound to fail and perhaps an indication that the vessel has a case to answer. Accordingly, on 6 November 2022, the vessel was handed over to Nigeria by Equatorial Guinea. Subsequently, subsequently, she cast off Equatorial Guinea waters under Nigerian Navy escort on 11 November and arrived off Boni Offshore Terminal 2 on 12 November 2022. Empty Heroic Idun is presently in the custody of the Nigerian Navy and based on legal opinion and analysis, the super tanker could be said to have committed the following offenses against the Nigerian state. One, attempt to deal in export crude oil without license or authorization. Two, entering the restricted zone around an oil field without authorization and force violating Nigeria's exclusive exclusive economic zone regulations. Three, falsely accusing a Nigerian Navy ship of piracy on the international maritime reporting platforms after having communicated with the Nigerian Navy ship without ambiguity about her identity, therefore violating sections of the suppression of piracy and other Maritime Offenses Act. 2019. The 27 crew members who are all foreigners are standing trial before Federal High Court in Porter Court on the three counts of conspiracy, stealing, and attempting to deal in crude oil. The Naval Authority says the motor tanker that evaded arrest on the 12th of August committed several infractions, including attempting to deal in export crude without license entering the restricted zone around an oil field without authorization and false accusing the Nigerian Navy ship of conspiracy. Four, violation of all lawful instructions at sea from maritime law authorities, as well as Nigeria's miscellaneous act and other associated national and international laws ascribed to by Nigeria. And finally, five, violation of custom and immigration laws as acceded by Nigeria regarding the operations of Apple Oil Terminal being an oil installation in the Nigerian Exclusive Economic Zone. At this juncture, the Nigerian Navy wishes to enjoin the media, well-meaning Nigerians, and well-wishers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to note the actual occurrence regarding MT Heroic Idu, for which she is now under custody of the Navy for prosecution. Please disregard rumors, mischievous and fictitious articles being circulated by enemies of the state in a bid to cause chaos and discredit the efforts of the Nigerian Navy and indeed of Nigeria. Um. 27 in total have been arraigned before the Federal High Court. And the Federal High Court, as you know, is a court that has exclusive jurisdiction to hear this matter. It's, it's, it's um, a matter before the Federal High Court already. So they were split into two, and, and some, about 17, 17 precisely, were, were arraigned yesterday, and the balance of 10 we are arraigned this morning. And um, uh, the courts had already remanded them to be on board the ship for ob obvious reasons and to be supervised by the Navy. And the case will now continue early next year, precisely on the 10th and 11th of January 2023, for definite hearing. 
Um, ask him about the, the punishment or the sanctions that they could receive. Remember that it's the court that gives that. However, the Miscellaneous Offenses Act, which is the, the act or the statute under which one of the charges was charged, has very stringent sanctions, stringent punishments, you know, up to even life imprisonment, depending on what it is. So the court still has discretion depending on how the court is able to come up with um, um, issues surrounding the matter, the evidence, the conviction, and then the court issues the sentence according to law. So um, let's not jump the gun right now. NT Iraq Idun was added over to the Nigerian Authority by Equatorial Guinea on the 11th of November 2022. The vessel was escorted by the Nigerian Navy until it arrived at Boni Offshore Terminal 2 the next day. The Nigerian Navy therefore assures Nigerians that in accordance with its statutory responsibility and drawing strength from the strategic directive of the CNS, Vice Admiral Awa Zubai Rugambo, the service will maintain a posture of zero tolerance to crude oil theft and other criminal activities in the maritime domain. Kike Lomo Ukeri, Court, TV News, Abuja.